بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شاہ علی صدری و یسر علی امری و حبی رکھت من لسانی یفہو قولی Well guys, so here you can see that to explain the gravitational field strength, I'm going to use this magnet. I have a magnet and this is a nail. You know that a magnet can attract a metal body within a certain limit. Now, if I am bringing this, mag uh, uh, this nail closer to the magnet, then it will attract this nail towards itself. Now, when I'll bring very close to this, you can just please observe that if I bring very close to it, then it is able to attract this nail. It means its magnetic field is within a certain limit. Out of that limit, it cannot attract a body. Now I have another magnet. Here you can see that now if I am bringing this nail closer to the magnet, you'll observe that this is attracting towards itself. Now um, you can observe that like a magnet attracts anything towards itself in the same way the earth also attracts itself. Now, if these two magnets are bringing, you can see that these two bodies, which are attracting each other, if I'm bringing up to a certain limit, it will be attracted towards its bigger magnet. In the same way, gravity is also attracting, the earth's gravity is also attracting bodies towards itself towards the center of the earth. That strength is called gravitational field strength. In this of mass, it was the magnetic field. Now we are talking about the gravitational field. So in the case of gravitational field, we are talking about the earth's gravitation in us certain area around the magnet then the nail was attracted towards the magnet in the same way earth gravitation field is also showing its attraction in a certain area okay so this gravitational field strength of earth is basically 10 newton per kg this gravitational field strength with which the earth is attracting any body towards itself is 10 Newton per kg. It means if you have a body of 1 kg, body of mass, if I have a body of mass 1 kg, then how much force will be applied on this body by the earth that will be calculated by the formula w is equal to m g now this is the force of attraction of earth on the body of mass 1 kg 1 multiplied by the gravitational field strength which is 10 now, as you know that the unit for mass is uh, kg. I'm mentioning the unit of mass also, which is uh, kg. And the unit of gravitational field strength is Newton per kg. This is kg and this is 10 Newton per kg. Now this kg in the denominator is canceling the kg in the numerator, one tens are 10. So the weight of a body will be 10 Newton. If the body has mass one kg, uh, the weight will be 10 Newton. It means this will be the gravitational field strength of a body having mass one kg, okay? So, if we are talking about weight, actually we are finding out that how much force 
the earth is applying on the body of the given masks okay so here in this case we will say that small g is representing gravitational field strength but if we are talking about a body falling on the surface of the earth this is earth earth and a body is falling on the earth okay so here we'll say that gravitational acceleration or acceleration due to gravity will be 10 meter per second square as you know that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity that how much uh, what is the rate of changing of velocity that is constant in the case of the body which is freely falling that is 10 meter per second square so remember if we are talking about a body which is falling freely on the earth then g will be considered as gravitational acceleration and if we are considering the weight of the body then we may take that g is 10 newton per kg in both the cases the value of small g is 10 but here in the case of gravitational acceleration we'll consider that this is 10 meter per second square but in case of weight we'll take that 10 newton per kg the 